We need to stop calling what Donald Trump is doing a campaign. Rather, he's exposing us to an involuntary psychiatric session with him where he just keeps on melting down in public. Since I posted a video about two hours ago showing you all of those deranged emails he had already sent this morning, he sent two more emails since I've posted the last video. An email like this, please. Please tell me you'll at least answer this question. And another email, this is an emergency, Ben. So I just want you to think about it. This is what his supporters are getting throughout the day, messages like this. So when you open up the one that says, Ben, please, it says, Ben, please, tell me you'll answer the first question. I hope it's easy. I'll let you be the judge. Then it's like a sad photo of him. Are you voting for me again? Take the poll. And when you click it, it's a place where you could like donate $500 or $1,000 to him. In the next email, it goes, this is an emergency, Ben, an, an emergency. I mean, that's a serious word to throw out, an emergency. So you click it, and this is what Donald Trump is saying, what his campaign or his involuntary psychiatric session before us all is putting out. Illegals are voting in American elections, exclamation point. Ben, I know you won't let Democrats do this. Trump needs to hear from you ASAP. Respond to Trump. Thank you, Trump election team. With all of these messages, let's be clear what he's trying to do. He's trying to scare the crap out of his supporters because he has no message. What he's trying to do is use the, like, the language of violence and fear and threats to scare people into believing things that are happening that are not happening as part of his cult. But let me show you what is happening. In the past two hours, a new poll has come out, a very good poll showing Vice President Kamala Harris up massively in swing states. Wisconsin, she's up 51% to 42%. Michigan, she's up 49 to 43%. Pennsylvania, she's up 49 to 45%. So it's 1,500 registered voters. Um, and uh, you take a look at what Keith Boykin says. Look, polls only reflect public sentiment. Votes determine elections. So vote like your life depends on it because you see those emails that Donald Trump is sending during his meltdown this morning. I've got more to show you in just a bit. By the way, the recent polling data is very similar and consistent with the New York Times Siena College polling data that had Harris up 50% to 46% in Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin with the same lead in all of those states. So what does Donald Trump do? He goes on a social media platform two hours ago and he posts the following. The New York Times Siena poll has way oversampled Democrat voters and way undersampled people who voted for me in 2020. So Donald Trump's doing, it's rigged. They're now rigging the polls against me. Donald Trump goes on to say, the fake New York Times insisted they do this so that it would look as bad as possible in comparison to their last poll, which was very good for me, way up, and made the very biased Times look stupid, just like in 2016. I'm actually up on the San Francisco liberal, despite all of crooked media. She would destroy America just like she destroyed San Francisco. Then Donald Trump goes on to post his, his, his therapy, his meltdown. This is just what he's doing. As I've said, if anybody posted like that who you know in your life, they should not be anywhere near any positions of authority, yet alone the highest position in our land. I heard somebody say this, uh, George Conway said it on the Midas Touch Network, that's who said it. He said, Donald Trump is all of the qualities that you teach your kids not to be. Literally, he is the embodiment of just a terrible human being. When we teach our kids how to behave, it's do not do those things. Donald Trump then continues to whine, he goes, I spent two and a half hours last night talking to Elon, a fantastic guy, getting all-time record views, hits, and all the fake news wants to report is that the servers crashed because of the tremendous volume, and the show opened a little late. What they should be reporting was the incredible number of people that were listening. I absolutely hate the fake news media. So bad for our country. He goes, I absolutely hate the fake news media. By the way, not that many people anymore are talking about the fact that the uh, Elon Musk interview broke down. Elon Musk didn't say it was because there were too much people waiting. He previously tested it with 8 million people. There were only like 1 million people who were listening to that at that time. People were talking about how you sound like Daffy Duck. So people were talking about. Here's Donald Trump from that speech. Play the clip. I may be a 
craven little coward, but I'm a greedy craven little coward. I just gotta have that 5G. Sorry, that was Daffy Duck. Here's Donald Trump from the interview um, with Elon Musk. Play the clip. She's terrible, but she's getting a free ride. I saw a picture of her yeah, yeah. on Time Magazine today. She looks like the most beautiful actress ever to live. I, it was a drawing. And uh, actually, yeah, yeah. she looked very much like a great first lady, Melania. She looked, she looked, <laughs> didn't look, yeah. she didn't look like Camilla. That's right. But of course, she's a beautiful woman. So we'll leave it at that, right? And then Donald Trump said that if he loses the 2024 election, he and Elon should flee to Venezuela. Very normal thing to talk about, fleeing to Venezuela. Here's what Donald Trump says. Play this clip. And again, I told you that crime yes, rates all over the world way. are going way down which makes sense. In fact, the next time what we'll do is if something happens with this election, which would be a horror show, we'll meet the next time in Venezuela because it'll be a far safer place to meet than our country. OK, so we'll go. You and I will go and we'll have a meeting and dinner in Venezuela because that's what's happening there. And more rambling from Donald Trump here and coherently play the clip. You know, the biggest threat is not global warming, where the ocean's going to rise one one eighth of an inch over the next 400 years. The big and you'll have more you'll have more oceanfront property, right? The biggest threat is not that. The biggest threat is nuclear warming. As a kid, I loved eating cereal, but as an adult, I don't want all that sugar and most cereals don't give me the protein I need. Then I found Magic Spoon, a nostalgically delicious cereal that tastes just like my childhood favorites, but without the sugar and with a ton of protein. And if you're already a Magic Spoon fan like I am, I have big news. Magic Spoon has turned their super popular cereal into high protein treats that are light, crispy, and taste just like those classic crunchy cereal bars. Magic Spoon's brand new treats are so delicious and have already become my favorite before and after gym snack. Every serving of Magic Spoon cereal has 13 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, and four grams of net carbs, so you can feel good about what you are eating. The most popular flavors are fruity and cocoa, and there are so many more. I love the cocoa ones. Magic Spoon's brand new treats are crispy, crunchy, airy, and an easy way to get 11 grams of protein on the go. And for the first time ever, Magic Spoon treats are available in grocery stores with delicious flavors like marshmallow and chocolate peanut butter, chocolatey peanut butter. I personally love Magic Spoon's chocolatey peanut butter treats. I have one every morning to start the day off on the right foot, and I know you will love it as well. Get $5 off your next order at magicspoon.com slash Midas or look for Magic Spoon in your nearest grocery store. That's magicspoon.com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S for $5 off. Magic Spoon, hold on to the dream. Magicspoon.com slash Midas. One of the things that should be noted as well is that you heard the clip earlier that Donald Trump is uh, very upset about how good Vice President Kamala Harris looks on the Time Magazine cover. And he calls her Camilla. I mean, just just say her real name. It's Kamala. Just say Kamala, not Camilla. Um, and then Fox is doing, they're devoting their attention to the fact that Time has Donald Trump melting on the front cover compared to a photo of Vice President Kamala Harris on the front cover. Donald Trump's got good Time covers before. Like, what are, what are we talking about here? And why do you have to be stable? Why do you have to be like weirdo North Korean propaganda media? Just report the news. Like, it's not normal that Donald Trump's talking about fleeing to Venezuela, okay? It's not normal that Donald Trump Trump is saying that Vice President Kamala Harris looks like her wife. Stop talking about her looks. Just can you talk coherently about a policy? No, you can't because all you have is fear and then your just delusional mind where all you talk about is Hannibal Lecter and getting electrocuted or eaten by sharks or whatever ridiculous things you're saying. And then you have Shady Vance, your running mate, who just behaved like an absolute, again, no offense to professional clowns, I want to be very clear, who behaved like a wannabe fascist clown and a Putin sympathizer when he was in the Senate. I mean, just take a look today. As we learn more right now about a wildly successful Ukraine counteroffensive into Russia, Russia is now only the second strongest army 
in Russia because Ukraine advanced into Russia. Russia today had to pull its pull a lot of its troops out of Ukraine to defend against the Ukrainian military pushing deeper into Russia. This right here is Shady Vance reading Dr. Seuss in the Senate during the time when he was blocking the spending bill so that Ukraine could get the weapons they need. I just want you to think about this, folks. And again, just put politics aside for a moment. And let's just think about the humanity. While America was trying, while President Biden was trying to put together a spending package to help Ukraine not get massacred from the Russians after the unlawful invasion by Russia, Shady Vance was doing this on the Senate floor to block it. Play the clip. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where the boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. And that is just who they are. One thing I want to point out as well, with Donald Trump not having a good morning, um, a lot of labor unions, the United Auto Workers and others, filed a labor complaint, a federal labor complaint against Donald Trump and Elon Musk for their worker intimidation yesterday during uh, a moment of their speech where they threatened union workers. Play this clip. This cutter. I mean, I look at what you do. You walk in and you just say, you want to quit? <laughs> they go yeah. on strike. They, I won't mention the name of the company, but they go on strike and you say, that's okay. You're all gone. You're all gone. So every one of you is gone and you are the greatest. You would be very good. Oh, you would love it. But you know, if you look at Arjun- And look, Donald Trump has always been a scab. This is what Donald Trump said many, many years ago. This is who he is. Play this clip. Same thing with the unions. That's right. They get their little 5%. They get another 2%. They get another 3%, 4%. Then all of a sudden they're making more money than the people that own the company. As the AFL-CIO says, scab recognizes scab. Trump, Elon, both scabs. So that's where we're at right now, folks. We'll keep you posted as we get more uh, data here at the Midas Touch Network. But to, oh, just take a look at this is the front page of Drudge right now. Thankfully, Drudge is doing a good job. Trump slurs through interview. Increasingly bizarre claims. Vice President Kamala Harris in the weighted average of all polls takes a 2.8% lead. There you have it. Hit subscribe. I want to get to 3 million subscribers this month. So tell others about this network. Tell your friends, family, coworkers, whoever. Let's get to 3 million. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.